Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to be solving some problems on GRE quant. So, in the first problem, we have that xy is negative, and we are told that x minus y is quantity A, and x over y is quantity B. If xy is negative, xy negative, it means that x is positive negative and y is positive or x is positive and y is negative it is any of these two cases that we want x y to be negative now the best way i think to approach this problem is to assume that both quantities are equal and see what you get from it so if you assume both quantities are equal we we'll have that x minus y is equal to x over y multiply 2 by y we have that xy minus y square is equal to x. Now, let's look at the left hand side. We already told that xy is negative, and this is y square. y square is always positive, and now we have minus y square. So it means that our left hand side is negative. What about our right hand side? Our right hand side can either be positive or negative. So it means since our left hand side is negative and our right hand side can either be positive or negative it therefore means the relationship cannot be determined from the information given so the correct option here is D now let's look at the next problem if A is giving us 2B plus 1 over 2 and 4B is equal to 3 what is the value of A? now for us to find the value of A let's find the value of B first to make it faster since we have 2B here so we look for what 2b is in this place. So 4b is equal to 3. Divide both sides by 2. So we have that 2b is equal to 3 over 2. Now, go to this equation and substitute 2b as 3 over 2 and get what a is. So we have a to be 3 over 2 plus 1 over 2. Since both have the same base, we add their numerator. So we have 2, 3 plus 1, and here we have 4 over 2, which is 2. So the correct option is C. Now, for the third problem, we have that if you are given this set of numbers, but today we are told that the average or arithmetic mean of the set of numbers, and for B, we are told that it is the median of the set of numbers. So, what is the average? What is the arithmetic mean of this set of numbers? Remember, arithmetic mean or, or the average is giving us the sum of the numbers i running from 1 to n over the number of numbers we have in the set. So, let's sum the numbers together. We have minus 4 plus minus 3 plus 0 plus 3 plus 2 plus 4, plus 6, plus 7, plus 9, all over, how many numbers do we have here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We have 8 numbers. So, minus 4, minus 3 is minus 7. And minus 7 plus 2 is minus 5. Minus 5 plus 4 is minus 1. Minus 1 plus 6 is 5. 5 plus 7 is 12. And 12 plus 9 is 21. So we have 21 over 8. And 21 over 8 will give us 2.6. So to get the median of the set of numbers, remember, the median is the numbers in the middle when the set of numbers are arranged in either ascending order or descending order. The numbers we already have are arranged in ascending order. So to get the median, we look for the middle numbers. Since we have eight numbers, the middle numbers will be between the, the fourth and the fifth. So this is three, this is three. So these are the middle numbers. So since we have two middle numbers, our median will be the average of the two middle numbers, which will be two plus four over two. And two plus four is six over two. And so we have three. And so quantity B is three, and quantity A is 2.6. It therefore means that 
quantity B is greater. The correct option here is B. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.